Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our channel, uh, Natural State Rebels. We are now in Valley of the Gods and right outside of Mexican Hat, Utah. This is where we stayed last night. It is so beautiful here and so quiet. Um, we woke up this morning and it was 43 degrees outside, but it was it was nice. We were we were to turn the the furnace on in the in the motor home and um, but it's so peaceful out here. I mean, it is just so peaceful. And um, I don't really want to leave today. We're going to have to move on out of here. Uh, our plan is to get to Grand Junction, Colorado today, about four and a half hours away, which of course it'll probably take five and a half or so. And that's about that's a good day's travel in a, in a motorhome. So uh, hopefully we do get that far. And uh, I just want to leave you with some beautiful scenery from around our camp. Found that crazy looking rock. I'm not sure what to make of it, but, but question mark. If you find this, let us know. Somewhere in the Valley of the Gods. Let us know in the comments if you know where this is at. We've stopped here in Bluff, Utah. We're gonna go into the visitor center and gift shop to the there's a, a historic fort here that we're gonna go look at. Yeah, this is a very well-named town because there's bluffs everywhere. I guess these were probably toys that kids played with back when, this, when people uh, lived, inhabited at this fort. There's a, a toy gun, a wooden toy gun. <laughs> What else we have in there, Shane? Pistols. Oh, we got a couple of pistols. You can play cowboys and Indians. Excuse me, cowboys and Native Americans. <laughs> got your hanging rope. Got your hanging rope. <laughs> Are those grapes? Oh, that's cool. I can see. So they have cabbage and um, some chard over there. Oh yeah, onions. They've got a lot of things in here. Oh, this is parsley. I'm not much of a gardener, so I'm. I do good to know what this is. I don't know. What is that? Cabbage? What is that? That's huge. This is the Joseph Barton original cabin, and this is how they made their roofs. Burlap, then straw, and then sand. Yep, oh, up there on the top. This is the inside of that original cabin. You can hear the floor squeaking. <laughs> and you can even still see the places on the wood where they chopped. That's so cool. So here we have the original RVs. There's your Class B, your Class C, and over here is your Class A. And your pull oh yeah, and over there you got your pull behinds. 
Okay, so here's a, the original RV with the awning out, the encampment. They got all their cooking stove and everything. And it even says these people were nomads. They lived in their uh, wagon encampment for four years. So it's pretty cool. Do they have any gray or black tanks or water tanks? <laughs> There's the laundry washboard. This is traditional Navajo living quarters. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever free This must be the gravesite of some of the people that were that lived at that fort, the bluff fort that we were just at, because they had the same last name as some of the people that were there. So these must be the homesteaders that were at the fort site.
never know. These could be our kinfolk. Or I guess Shane's kinfolk. They all have the same last name of Wood. Right 